This is not the man I met. He is egotistical. He disrespects me. This entire marriage has been forced upon me. When you don't have trust, when you don't have that foundation, the relationship is over before it starts. I'm at my breaking point. He has a problem with spending. You have champagne taste on a soda water budget. Yes, What's honey, going on? come on, champagne taste. <laughs> it's about the taste, not about the budget. You can't trust him anymore. The man that I married would never have done that. I'm not going to advise her to try to make this work because I think it's dangerous. I think it's gone beyond that. Here is today's case. Secret surgeries and hidden agendas have this couple in turmoil. With no communication or trust, they've come to a crossroads. The wedding was recently called off due to their issues. Will this couple stay engaged or will this be the end? That's today's case on Divorce Court. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Faith Jenkins presiding. Your Honor, our virtual audience is filled with your super fans. Today's super fan of the day is Tracy from Madison, Illinois. Tracy, we're so happy to have you with us. Welcome to Divorce Court. Your Honor, this is the case of Glamour versus Allen. Thank you, Juan. Dianca Glamour. Yes, Your Honor. You have brought Mr. Kilo Allen. Yes, Your Honor. To Divorce Court today, I understand the two of you recently broke off an engagement. Correct, Your Honor. And you are here today to try to resolve some of your issues to see if you should continue to go your separate ways or try to salvage the relationship. Yes, ma'am. And I understand you brought a witness with you. Correct, Your Honor. Miss Bianca Elbert. Yes, Your Honor. Thank you for being here. I will hear from you shortly. Okay. But first, I'll start with you, Miss Glamour. What happened? Why did you end up bringing this case to divorce court today? Because I spent three years with this, this guy and then two years I was away. But he's not the same person that I was dating before I left. Mm -hmm. And I just want to be rid of the entire relationship. I was in love with him. I really wanted to be with him. Mm -hmm. But he's not the same person anymore. Now he is, you know, but he goes from different characters. I love him, but I don't see him in a, that type of way anymore. Relationship, getting married, all of that is off. And, I, and I'm going to stand on that because I have justifiable reasons. Okay. What do you have to say, Mr. Allen? in your defense? Not at all. We always go through this same struggle with, with identity issues. Mm -hmm. She feels as if though she's superior to me and I'm inferior to her, or she feels as if I want to emulate her when I want to walk in, in, in my own truth and I want to be myself. I don't want to be nobody else. I don't want to try to have to conduct myself a certain type of way. So mm -hmm. it's, it's very condescending. Her complaints about me, as you'll hear her expressions, and it's not me mistreating her. It's, it's, it's not the things that you, you deal with in a relationship where someone is it's being toxic. Okay, so you're letting me know in advance. She's yeah. not gonna tell the truth. Yeah, I love, I, I love her. She's 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 not. What do you you say? He's changed. Give me some examples of these changes you say have caused a, a big rift between the two of you. Well, prior to me leaving, going away, Kilo hadn't had any surgeries done. Mm -hmm. When I was away, Kilo got some surgeries done, like body augmentation, like his butt done. Mm. Um, he got something done to his waist, you know. Um, he got something done to his chest. Since I have came home, he'd been recently talking about getting something done to his face and the, the skin bleaching and the nose. Mm -hmm. And that isn't the man that I fell in love with, okay? Did he have a conversation with you about having these changes? No, ma'am. Or you found out about no, it after the fact? No, no. I came home and that's what it was. And I was like, wait a minute. So you said that he had surgery. Yes, Your Honor. And he looked physically different after the surgery, according he, to you? Yes, Your Honor. And I submitted some pictures. Okay. Did you have surgery, sir? Yes, ma'am. What did you get done? Um, you don't I've mind me asking. Spanish, I've had a Spanish waistline, abdominal etching, um, a BBL. Mm. Um, I've had what is a BBL? Um, Brazilian, Brazilian butt lift. lift. I was asking him <laughs> yeah. one. Yeah, I think he wants to be a woman. But I appreciate you. Yeah, but it's nothing about yourself. me. It has nothing to do with me wanting to be a woman. I feel like a person should be able to express themselves, or if there's something that you want to alter or change about yourself, okay. and you can see yourself in a better light, regardless if a million people don't see you in that same light. I mm -hmm. think you should just persevere, and I think you should go forward. However, I don't, I don't have the same insecurities that she does. So you. You had these surgeries. It's something that you wanted to do. 
Correct. And she was upset about it. What about the skin bleaching? Is that true? I'm a brand ambassador, so I sell skincare products. So, okay. yes, I have bleaching cream. It's for dark spots. It corrects your skin. Okay. It's a moisturizer. Your She's very Honor. dramatic. That's why when she got her body, she ended up like how she ended up, and I ended up like how I ended up. Your Honor, he wants to be a woman. See? <laughs> Insults like this. Now he's becoming like competition, you know? It's like, I think he wants to be a woman. I don't, Your Honor, I don't have a problem with nobody living in their truth. I think she wants to be a man. Your Honor, that is not the man that I met, okay? He can be that person, but not with me. So you're saying when the two of you started dating... He didn't have any of those surgeries, Your Honor. I'm so sorry. And, but... and that is what is a problem for you no. because you liked him for who he was no, at the time. Is... I was asking her, like, what about me should offend her if I'm not being disrespectful to her, if I'm respecting her? So you don't think she should have a problem with anything you do? Not with, at with all. Your body not at all. It's not compromising to the relationship. It's mm -hmm. compromising to me, her yeah. character. Mm -hmm. you're, no, okay. it's compromising okay. my principles and my preference. People that go he away and, and ask for help and, and have people that be loyal to them. And it's just like I've, I've tried to be so loyal to her till it's just like she's just dissatisfying. And it's just like we go back and forth where one moment, hey, it's okay, you really like me, you know what I mean? Because I, I think it's more... No, I um, loved you. ...sexually. Okay, give me an ex another example of what you said happened that changed him physically. Um, he's very flamb flamboyant. I go to his social media. I have a video. Um, I'm walking in the supermarket and I'm twerking, okay? I go to his... In the supermarket? Yeah, it's for IG. Oh, okay. Right. For my do, it, do it for the gram. Right. <laughs> I go to his social media. It's the same video mimicking me. Mm -hmm. And he was Let me pushing see the, the video. buggy. She and wants he was everybody to relate to her, Your Honor. Let me see the video. This the whole problem in our relationship. I may have been enjoying myself a little bit inside of the store, but, I mean, am I supposed to walk around depressed? Am I supposed to mm -hmm. not acknowledge, like, all this money that I've spent to, to get my rear end done? Am I mm -hmm. supposed to not acknowledge mm -hmm. that? Mm -hmm. He changes his voice. So do you. What do you mean by that? Like, how he's talking now, he'll go into, like, Keandra, and he's very popular. She just named me Yara. And he's more on the girly side mm -hmm. now, and that is not the type of man that I want to be with. He, that is not how I met him. Okay. She so doesn't he, know what she wants. Okay. Oh, I know what I want, and it's not that. I think he wants to transition to be a transgender or to be a woman, mm -hmm. and he can be that, but he will not be up under my nose. It's not about who wins the bigger draws. It's well, about who's going to take the lead. So we have clarity in court today. Yes, right? ma'am. Do you, in fact, want to transition? All of these changes you say have happened, what in your mind do you think is going on? I think he wants to transition to be a transgender or to be a woman, mm -hmm. and he can be that, but he will not be up under my nose. Have you asked him this question? Yes. And what did he say? He denies it. As I should, because I have to stay on up for myself, and mm -hmm. she's very overbearing. It's not about who wins the bigger draws. It's well, about who's going to take the lead. I don't so know it's what... all egotistical. I don't know what that means, Mr. Allen, but I it's... just want to clear... So we have clarity in court today. Yes, right? ma'am. Do you, in fact, want to transition? No, I don't. I don't want to transition at all. In fact, I didn't do regular lipo. I end up having abdominal etching, which is a six-pack. Okay. I, I didn't do any other surgeries that she did. She has face fillers. And the butt. She has her... And the butt. Whatever. Okay, she's, so, so Mr. Allen, you're saying... She's a user. That's what I'm getting out of it. She's a user. How, in she what way? She manipulated... Because I've taken care of her. I've, I've carried her. Mm -hmm. I've carried her like you, you do for a to? child. I've fed her when <laughs> she was hungry. I've been there. I've, 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 I've given her a shoulder to lean on. Mm -hmm. There's several things. I, and, and it irritates me every time. It infuriates me. So maybe that's the different change of the voice because of the way she treats me. She goes to treating me more feminine. I go to acting more feminine. So you say that it's her that's changed. Yes, it's even ego, even she... despite you you being the supporter. Correct. Of her, even when Correct. she was down and out and Correct. gone and all of those Correct. things. And what else do you say has happened? 
I feel as if now that she feels like she's found herself when she was gone away, that she wants to become a rapper. Like a rapper, like Jay-Z kind of rapping? Yes, okay. yes, yes. So she raps about how she finesses guys and oh, finesse goes oh. a long way, honey bun. All of those oh. type of, all those type of uh, condescending things she say. And it makes me feel like when you were writing, like were you thinking about me when you were, when you were like making these different gestures? And it's just mm -hmm. like, I help support her in this only for her mm -hmm. to like turn her back on me and shine me away. I think she can't take me. I think, I just, I think I'm just too much. I think that's, that's what it boils down to. And, it, and that's why it feels competitive to her. Because she thinks, she, she thinks like this is like some type of congeniality contest. And it's not. We're both gay men. She just decides to identify different. Miss hmm. Glamour, or should I call you MC Glamour? What do you have to say in response to that? Are you now pursuing a rap career? No, ma'am. That is one of my talents mm -hmm. that I choose to put into the fork. And he's picking all these nitbits. I have a talent. I rap. I'm an actress. I'm a dancer. Are I'm you talking about finessing what does that men? Have to... Yes. Ma'am, that is a lyric. Okay. That is a bar. It yes, is simply bars that you yes. drop from time to time. Yes. What is the issue with the gay clubs? When I'm in the gay clubs, I'm gay. And that is her biggest issue. It's as if she wants me to be this great big macho man guy. And it's just like, hey, I'm just as gay as you are. She doesn't acknowledge that. She just mm -hmm. feels like she's just this woman. And that and that's just it. And whatever she says goes. So and she I'm wants you to act a certain way? And just, yeah, she wants me to act a certain type of way. Like, give me an example. Like, if, if, if I'm talking like this and I'm, hey, Bianca, and, and I'm making my voice deep, it's, it's, it's perfect for her. The second that I try to have an intellectual conversation with her is went too far, now I'm too feminine. Now, because I'm being sensitive to her emotions, because mm -hmm. she's always insecure and she's always complaining. Mm -hmm. When I try to talk to her like how we're doing now, we have to have peer mediation. Someone else always has to step in because it, it, it's always a battle. Who called off the engagement? Me. We were in the club one night and Kilo tried to hit on me. Was he aware that yes. the two of you were friends at the time? Yes, he was. I did not know who Bianca was. Are you saying that the two of you were not in a relationship together when that happened? I don't even like her. She's not my type. If you'd like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free, 1-877-311-2222, or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Miss the show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and follow us on social media for exclusive content. I would like to hear from your witness, Ms. Bianca Elbert. Yes. Ma'am, please step up to the lectern. Hello, your what do you have to add to this case? What do you have to say about their relationship? Kilo is a fraud. Mm. We were in the club one night and Kilo tried to hit on me. Right. And so, I... It's the body changes. I did, that's not who I seen before because I haven't seen him in so long. So it was like the physical appearance was different. Mm -hmm. So a person told me, you know, he goes, that's Bianca's boy. I'm like, that's Kilo? That's Kilo. The one and and so, Dianca was away. I went to go visit her and everything. And I let her know that. But see, Dianca, she has this thing where she keeps it all bottled in, and then it kind of explodes. Mm -hmm. And, like, she, right. I, I don't even think she should be, be with him at all. When you say he hit on you... Yeah. Was he aware that yes. the two of you were friends at the time? Yes, he was. Hmm. Is that true? No, I did not. Wow. Not, no, I did not know who Bianca was. Okay. Bianca is also a protege of her. Are you saying that the two of you were not in a relationship together when that happened? You saw her out in the club? We were, but she was away doing her own. Makilo, she was you away sent doing me her all kind of thing. messages. I thought she was cute. Mm -hmm. And we exchanged phone numbers. It didn't really go much farther mm -hmm. than that. Like, mm -hmm. she exaggerated. She wants to be Dianca so bad to... It's just like, hey, if I talk to Dianca, man, we're somewhat on the same level. Mm -hmm. And it's and, and it's not <sighs> the case. Okay. It's, so, I don't even like her. She's not my I, type. I understand what you're saying, that you were saying that at the time, even though you were away, the two of you were together. And yes. he committed to us still being together. Mm -hmm. he, he, he gave me such a bit to do about don't find another boyfriend and what are you doing in there and he's the one that is out here trying to hit on my... Because that was the agreement that the two of you during that two-year time period, yeah, but you were essentially waiting for her to come yes, back. Yes, right? yes, ma'am. And I don't deny any of that. But in, in, in waiting on her to come out, I'm also waiting on my paychecks where I'm also sending her money, where I'm also taking care of her. You, and you believe now that she's called off the engagement, you want your money back that you spend in the relationship? Yes, and it's like, it's like you don't have my money. You don't have money to give me, but you have money to rap about being a finesser. You, you, 
what I mean? I don't want to be the victim of being finessed by Ms. Bianca. When you sent her money, was there an agreement that these mm. that this money was a loan and that she was going to pay you back? Or were you right. doing it out of, because you were in a relationship? Yes, yes. Bianca would tell me, you know, when I get out, you know I'm a hustler. I got you. I'm going to take care of you. We're going to be straight. So you have like, now... Oh, yeah, I got you. So I'm thinking that it's sacred. I'm thinking that, hey, we had this agreement. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking we're going to get along. I'm not thinking that, hey, there's going to be insecurities too while you're in there and I'm showing you that I'm supporting you. Well, you should have thought a little bit harder about right. it and got your paperwork together because when you come into court and you say, I'm owed for all this money, because here, here's what I think actually happened. I think that she went away, you were holding her down during this time period, mm -hmm. and you were sending money. I was. And there was not really an expectation that she was going to pay this money back. You were doing it because you were in a relationship and this Thank is somebody you. that you've loved. And now that she's changed her opinion about wanting to be in this relationship with you because of everything that's transpired over the last couple of years, okay. now the issue of money has come up. Thank you, Ms. Elbert, for being here. I appreciate You're you welcome, offering your, your perspective. Here's where we are. You say that you are exclusively attracted to men. Masculine men. Masculine men. Yes, ma'am. That is your truth. That is what you believe. And you said when you met him, that's one of the reasons you were attracted to him. Because that's my preference, Your Honor. And yes, here's the thing, Mr. Allen. You have a right to be who you want to be. You have a right to evolve uh, and change and stand correct. in your truth as well. Correct. But what you don't have a right to do is demand that someone in the relationship Happy. accept that. It's great if someone does. Right. It's great. It's wonderful. Yeah. But Correct. if they have a preference and they say, you know what, my preference isn't you, you don't have to take that as a personal rejection. Thank you. That just means there's someone else out Thank there you. that is a better fit for you. you. Because you want to be with somebody that loves you for who you want to be with. And whoever that is, you just embrace that for yourself. You stand in your truth, and then you, you're in a relationship with someone who loves all those parts of you. Some people like blondes, some people like brunettes. It is a personal preference. Thank That's you. all it is, Mr. Allen. And what you can't do is, at the end, when it's, when it's all coming down to a personal preference, then say, well, you know what? I held you down during this time better period. Or worse. I sent you all this money, so now I want all my money back. That's not how it works. When you're in a relationship, there's a lot of give, there's a lot of take, right. there's a lot of compromise, there's a lot of sacrifice. At the end of it, you don't send someone a receipt and oh. say, well, I want all of this money oh. that I invested in this relationship back since it's not going to work out anymore. What? It doesn't work out. Sometimes it happens. Sometimes you get hurt. That's life. You take a risk on love. Yeah. You take a risk on relationships. Yeah. And when it doesn't work, God, you pivot. And you, you find somebody else you. Right. who loves you, you for who you are. Thank you. That's, that's all it is. All, that's There's all no need to be She pushed There's people no away from people that love her for who she Mr. is because Allen? I loved her for who she was. I didn't say her body Ms. was too Mr. much Allen, or she was too you're dramatic. you're upset. You're upset. And I have every right to be. I've spent, my, I've spent my money on a bad investment. Mr. Allen? You can't get it. I am telling you from a legal perspective, Thank you may be emotionally upset about it, but from a legal perspective, she doesn't owe you money. That is my judgment. That is my ruling. Thank but you. I understand it is challenging yeah, and to be who you are, to have the courage yes. to stand in your own truth. For I all of you, all I understand don't. that. Yes, she Look don't. Look at me. But I, she, she don't. When we're cut it up, when we're cut it up, we have pictures cut it up. Okay. I did I submit okay. it to them. That's my ruling yes, and that's my judgment. Thank you. I wish your all honor. of you well. Thank I you, really your honor, so much. Thank, Thank you. I feel like she's gotten away with something else yet again. Like, I feel like it was okay for her to manipulate me and her, for her to take my money and for her to tell me that I have to act a certain type of way, I should conduct myself a certain type of way. Like, I'm masculine enough to give her my money, but I guess it's the legal system. The status of this relationship moving forward is null and void. I don't care to be involved in no type of way. I was thinking that we could have maybe been friends you know, outside of lovers, you know, our relationships doesn't work. He feels that I'm so insecure and all these things that he expressed in the courtroom. I want him to have a nice life and, and I'll do the same. It's good that we're finally breaking things off so we don't end up in court.